to f of x at x equals 1. And the function is x cubed minus 3 divided by x squared. Now, we talked about tangent lines in the previous lecture. Can someone briefly remind us, if I want to find a tangent line, how do you go about finding a tangent line? Let's sketch that out very quickly for everyone who may not remember. Let's see. Jacqueline. Never mind, Simran saved you. Okay, so, so Simran says, take the derivative of the function x equals one to get the slope. Okay, good. So there's this, the slope of a tangent line um, is f prime of one, right? That's the reminder. And there's another piece of this, Jacqueline. What else do we need to get this tangent line? Because the slope is not enough. Point coordinates, coordinates, right? So how am I going to actually use get that? Remember, that has to be from the original function, right? So that's going to be the point 1 f of 1. Okay, so it's take about two and a half, three minutes to actually get the equation of the tangent line, right? So I've sketched out what you need to do. Now, last lecture, we used the definition of derivative to get the slope, but now we have derivative rules, right? We don't need to use that definition unless we absolutely have to. So first we need the point, right? I'm gonna use that. So that we just get from the original function, right? So one f of one, that's the point that the tangent line in the has to pass through. Right, just to remind you graphically what's happening, you know, here's some function and here's our tangent line, right? I want that tangent line to kind of hug that function at that point, right? They have to coincide at that point. That's why we use the original function. Okay, so what does that give us? That gives us one and then one minus three makes negative two. Okay, so that's our point. Okay, now let's get our slope. 
So how did you find the slope? So we know we need f prime of 1. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find f prime of x. Now, how did you go about finding f prime of x? What strategy did you use to find the derivative of this function? Take x squared to the numerator. OK, so what I think you mean by that is write 1 over x squared as x to the negative 2. I think that's what you meant, right? So that's very good, right? First, rewrite the function. Right? This is a lesson that we learned, I think, at least two previous exercises. Rewrite the function so that taking the derivative is as easy as possible, right? Do not use quotient rule on this, right? Do not use, even though it looks like a quotient, it is a quotient how I've written it, but if you just rewrite it as 3 times x to the negative 2, now it's a power function, right? You don't need quotient rule. It's overkill. OK, now let's find f prime of x. So this is just power rule, right? So who wants to give us the derivative of the whole entire function? OK, so good. So Yana says uh, 3x squared, right? Good, right? The exponent comes down as a coefficient and then decreases by 1, and then uh, I see Margaret also saying the same thing. Good, right? We have, so there's a plus six there. What's really happening is the minus three is a coefficient. That comes along for the ride. And then I differentiate x to the negative two. So that becomes negative two x to the negative three. So what Ayana and Margaret have done is they just combine those coefficients, right? Negative three times negative two just gives me plus six. Let me put that in orange. Now what do I do? What's our, my next step? I got my derivative. Good. Fine. Plug in x equals 1. Very good. Make sure you do this. So a common mistake I see sometimes is thinking it's, it's understanding that it's an incomplete understanding of what the derivative is. It's understanding that the derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line but thinking that this is the slope of the tangent line. This is not the slope of the tangent line, right? First of all, a slope of a line is a number, right? This is not really a number, this is some function, right? You should think of this as, this is not the slope of the tangent line, this is a recipe for finding slopes, right? So if you want to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals one, you need to put in x equals one first, and then the recipe will tell you, okay, that's the slope, right? So sometimes I'll see students write something like, you know, y equals, let's see, so the point was negative 2 plus x minus 1. And they'll put here, that's supposed to be the slope, right? And they'll just put 3x squared plus 6x to the negative 3. And that's wrong, right? They think, oh, derivative is slope. So that's the thing that goes in front of x. But this is not even a line, right? You're not sticking the whole recipe in the equation of the line. You're sticking one number in the equation of a line. And to get that, like I said, you plug in x equals 1 into the recipe first. So f prime of 1 is 3 plus 6 equals 9. So the slope of the line is 9. That's it, right? So it has to be a number. So this is recipe for slopes. Slope of tangent at x equals 1. OK, now we're able to write down my equation. So point slope form. So I get y equals negative 2 plus 9 times x minus 1. And we're all done. Cool. So keep that in mind, right? You, you plug in the number to get the slope. The derivative itself, the f of x is not the derivative. It's just kind of some recipe.